Welcome to Behind the Whistle. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use the new FA Referee Portal. To access this web page, you'll need to search referees.thefa.com, and this will bring you to this web page. Or alternatively, you can just type it in into Google, Referee Portal, and it should be the number one result. You'll start by entering your email address that you've registered with the FA. If you haven't done so, you can come down and create an account. You'll then enter your password associated with the account. As part of the two-factor authentication, you'll need to verify your email using a verification code, and this will be sent directly to the email that's registered. So you select, make sure that's the correct email, click send code, and then you'll receive one. Once you've received that code, you'll click verify and then continue. Once this is done, you'll be brought to this main page. As you can see, there are a few things to look at here. Most people, when coming to the referee portal, are coming here to enter discipline for a game that you've carried out. So how do you enter a match report? Well, on the right hand side, you'll see at the top here that it says create match. Once you've completed the game, you can come to the portal and create the match. So. We will say that we did a match today, it was a friendly, and it was against, let's go Bishop's Cleave, that's my local team, and then we can say it was Bishop's Cleave A versus Smith Barometrics. Once I've selected both teams, I will click continue and then it will ask me for my role. My role in this game will go put it through as a referee, and then I will add incident details. It will then bring you to this page and ask you for the type of incident. So are we reporting a yellow card, a red card, or an extraordinary incident, one that we'll need to write a report for? For the sake of this video, I'm going to enter a yellow card caution. Once I do that, I click next, and it will take me to this screen. So now I need to enter the incident details. Was this offense by a player or somebody who was not playing? For the sake of the video, we'll go with playing and we'll say it was for the home team, Bishop's Cleave. It will then ask me for an offense code. This is very important when reporting cards as we need to document why somebody received a yellow card. When you open this up, you'll have all of the different codes available to you. So if you're not sure, don't worry you'll be able to read through here and make sure you get it right. For this game, the person delayed the restart, so I will click C4, delayed the restart of play, and then I'll be asked to choose an offender. Once you do this, you will come in here and enter somebody's name. We'll go with Alex, and then we will confirm and review. Once you've done that, you'll see the incident there. If you need to add another one, you'll click add another incident and you'll go through the same process. If this is it, once you've finished, you can submit report and that report will be sent through to the FA and you have completed your match report. I hope that helps. Any questions, please put them in the comments and thank you so much for watching.